Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this special episode of Really Dicey. Today we're going to look at the beginner box set for Pathfinder 2nd Edition. And this is Manny, and I'm here with Max Trombone of Oddblot D&D. So we're going to look at this uh, box set, we're going to look at, we'll talk about the things that we like the most about it. So Max, what did you like best about this? What's the okay. first thing? So, one of the things that I noticed right out of the gate, because as a kid, I was really into choose your own adventure books is that there's a solo adventure in this box set, uh, which I was very excited about because also as a kid, I was really into tabletop RPGs and my older brother used to play uh, one of the Marvel. I can't remember if it was phase rip or if it was something else. He would, he would play that with me. Sometimes he would, you know, humor me. Um, and I, I had the Ninja Turtles um, one from, uh, what's the what's the company? Oh, uh, Palladium. The company that, yeah, Palladium. And I had that book, at, and I've I, that is a the one player book. I've read it, yes, that one, yeah. front to back, and I've never played that game. So the fact that there's a solo adventure to get you used to um, the system, I really liked. I do agree with you about the the solo adventure thing. I I have to remember myself sometimes that not everyone knows how to yes. play role playing games. Yes, you know, and I I I have to remember that some people just don't get the idea. Like how it's not a board game. It's it's not it's not a acting. board game. It's a mix even, of the two. Yeah, even if there's a board in front of you, even if you play it that way, that's very tactical with tokens and movement and stuff. It still isn't a board game. Besides the story one can play by themselves, there is an actual adventure in this box set designed for four first-level heroes and a game master. Uh, the adventure is really made so that players can learn how to use their skills, how to attack, how to use spells. Um, the story of the adventure is, is very straight to the point. Um, there's a, a beast lurking in the basement, um, eating up all the fish in town and in the town of Atari and your job is to go down there and stop this beast or beasts. So it comes with two books. Uh, it comes with a Game Master's Guide yep. and a Hero's Handbook. Uh, both of them uh, a little over 70 pages. Mm -hmm. um, they're, they're pretty much a, 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 a truncated version of the rules and yeah. they and four classes, which, um, four, you know, the, the pretty much the, the... Honestly, the classic ones in my yes. opinion. A thief, a cleric, wizard, and fighter. So yeah, I think it's very it's very classic um, from a layout point of view and a game mechanic point of view. I love how incredibly clear this box set is. It comes with six blank character sheets, which is great if or I love that. For those that want to customize it or maybe they're yep. already familiar with Pathfinder, but yeah. it has four pre-generated character sheets and um, they're, they're fantastic. They're great. Mm. They're strong agree. I feel very confident about this box that I could take this to a convention and open this up and I could probably uh, play with new players right away. Um, so yeah, I haven't played Pathfinder much either. And my I, my fear yeah. about it is that I don't want to confuse it with D&D &D rules. Um, right. So I, I do have the core rule book and I, 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 it's tough mm -hmm. trying to find what are the rule differences between the two. So I'm really glad that they have this uh, player yeah. reference cards. The reference cards. Yeah, Man, these are. I use the reference cards for, and I've been playing fifth edition now for the last like four or five years. I still use a reference card for that mm. <laughs> because if you have past edition knowledge, and we yes. still we still say will save sometimes and reflex save in D and D because in previous editions that's what it was. Mm. That's right. That's right. So I'm really I'm really glad yeah. for this because it. it uh, not only spells out to new players like what what they can do but it yep. reminds me like okay um you could do uh up to three actions in a turn yes. and certain things take up actions some like mm -hmm. some spells do two actions yep and, yep and i really could, like that you know so and then you have a possible reaction as well you could yep. do in your turn so there's there's some that that's really great i really i think this is probably the favorite thing which is weird to say of the whole box set because this it's is literally most, just that card yeah because it's, it's, I think it's the most helpful for me. Because uh, yeah. everything else, if you, oh. I mean, you, you, we've played long enough so that we could just play any of Because adventure. we're already familiar with it. Yeah, that's how I feel too. Another thing that I liked about it is that yeah. this has great um, pawns that you could cut out. Oh, yeah, yeah. That comes the with tokens it. tokens are super cool. 
Yeah, it comes with stands. Yeah. Um, this is great. I mean, it, again, I, not all players are... I don't know if visually mind is the right word. Uh, they, they could see the adventure oh, in their mind as easily. I So I actually would love to tack on to this because I have a friend. It's an actual medical condition. It's kind of rare. Did you know that some people can't play a movie in their head? Like that metaphor? Like oh. I have a friend who literally cannot picture things like that. Hmm. I don't know if that was a condition, but I know some people that I played with sometimes have a trouble visualizing because so they're I, trying to picture how big is this room how far away are they standing yeah yeah so this is very helpful for anyone that may have problems or just because it's cool yep. you know I'm a, oh, i mean and it's cool yeah i mean uh i i i i i just like tokens i'd like i like yeah. some i do like yeah, seeing yeah. it no 100 percent. so yeah tokens are helpful i really like that the art in general, the art direction of this, just like the game design, I think is just very, it's clear, it's focused. Um, I think it would be easy to onboard completely new players, people who have never played an RPG before, or people like you or I who have played an RPG before. And we just need a little bit of like, okay, it's like this in this system. Sure, mm -hmm. sure, sure. Yeah, I felt the art and design is yeah, I agree with you. It's crisp, it's clean, yeah. it's it's yeah. straight to the point. When I was looking through the the adventure in their in their game master's guide, um, they have a little section there so you can you can you can read out, you can be dramatic about yes. where the players yes. are at. And then it gives you a description of what's there, what's where's the treasure, mm -hmm. what's the monsters that'll be there. Yep. You know, that that's that's what I need. I don't yeah. want I, I don't wanna yeah, yeah. uh I so you know, when I'm when I'm at a convention or if I'm in a place right. and I'm, I'm playing this Absolutely. right away. I just want to I just want to know what I need to do right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I know some people don't like box text because they feel like they have to read it. We, me, I maybe this is just years of public speaking. I'm like read it to yourself silently first and then paraphrase it if you have to. Make it sound like it's you saying it, not just you reading from a book. Make it your own. Um but yeah, I I'm very impressed by this. And I have friends who played first edition and they told the first edition of Pathfinder and they told me, oh, it's awesome. You'd love it. Do you like, do you like feats? Do you like customizing your character? Do you like making a character that's totally your own? And I'm like, yes, go on. <laughs> and I feel like this is a very good system for that. Yeah. The um, another thing I want to talk about is the double-sided flip mat. Now I know you only. Oh, seen... okay. So you've actually physically got the box. I yeah. just looked at all the PDFs. Yeah. Um, let me bring it out. Yeah, so totally. When I, when I read that, I was like, oh, okay. I expected like a handout size map, but no, this is. It's huge. Oh, it's big. Yeah. Oh, that's really nice. Um, let me see if your, I can... your chroma key is kind of messing it up a little. Yeah. <laughs> you I'll, just uh... became invisible. You've got a cloaking device. All right. Let me temporarily take my virtual background away let me just do that luckily i'll yeah, hold this. that up oh that's a big flip mat i've paid good money for flip mats that big. yeah look. and this just goes oh yeah heck yes yes yeah, uh, double-sided oh yeah that's gorgeous yeah so this is that is, that was imp that's impressive very happy that's to. very nice and what's it is it like cardstock like physically what does it feel like oh uh, no it's it, it, does, does is it feel just flimsy. really thick it, it's paper thick laminated paper so i do notice that um that the most the highest level you can get in this is uh up to level three which right. which is oh that seems a little low actually even for a starter set it it does um i believe D and D's is up to level five yeah uh, their starter set um which yeah that sounds yeah level five yeah one yeah. to five is the D, D starter yeah so this is a real starter starter I, I, the start yeah no this is very low level starter honestly yeah and i would say that's probably the only really low um i, I don't know if criticism is the right word it's not really like like yeah. it, it wouldn't stop me from buying this at all oh um, no not at all like i like literally it just and maybe it's just because i just read it in the last like week or two you know what I mean? I'm just like, I would run this right now. This yeah. seems 
super awesome. But also the adventure. Oh, oh, I wanted to point this out because some people think for heroic fantasy that rats are a bad, um, like fighting rats doesn't seem heroic to them. And I'm like, look, did you not watch The Princess Bride 9,000 times when you were a child? <laughs> Rodents of unusual size are where you start an epic adventure. You fight mm. big rats. And then later you attack and dethrone some to many gods. That's just how it works. I thought the when I saw the the rat thing, I it reminded me, I, I, and I might I don't know where I remember this from, mm -hmm. but I remember like usually finding giant rats. Usually the first thing you do when you're level one I in D and D. Okay, so giant rats, maybe some goblins. Personally, I like bandits. I, this might be an old school player thing. Not that I'm super old school. I love equipment sections. I mm. love. I love looking at starter equipment too. So looking at the equipment list and just even, even just looking at it because look at the art um, here, I'll hold one up. Here's a perfect example of what I'm talking about. Uh, star knife. Mm. Tell me that's not cool. I want a star knife. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of good information in there so that if you don't want to stick to the adventure, um, but yeah. you only have this box set. There's there's yeah. some there's a, a section in, for uh, for monsters. For, so yep. If you want to use yep. other things, uh, equipment and magic items. I think the art's great. The the game design is very nice, um, I, and I do very much like the way it's written. Uh, mm. so actually, here's something I haven't we haven't touched on yet. I like the way the spells are written, where right across it says like control manipulate positive negative this that like it's right there it's really spelled out and clear the way things work so yes uh overall uh this is a fantastic box set beginner box set i i'm i yeah. this i feel confident that i can take this to a convention or to new yep. players um i'm also very confident that i can learn the system very quickly and efficiently yes um because again i don't want to muddle uh, old D and D rules or anything like that. Yeah, I, if I want to play, if I'm playing Pathfinder, I want to play Pathfinder, not D right. D not, version X. Not play D and D in your head and call it Pathfinder. Yeah. yeah, I think at a convention you could easily, like, depending on your travel scenario, if you were flying in or riding a bus or something, I think you could take this box set, and if you were running it, spend a couple two three hours, you know, maybe. Just flip through it, read it, get yourself familiar. I think you could run the stuff in this box very easily for people who have never played before, for people who are familiar with D&D &D but aren't familiar with Pathfinder, maybe for people who played first edition Pathfinder. So yes, viewers, uh, let us know what you think in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the segment. Um, tell us what you liked about the box. What, what didn't you like about the box? What do you think that could have made it a little bit better. Um, again, let us know in the comments below. Um, this is Manny. I'm here with Max Trombone of Odd Lot D&D. And um, stay safe out there. Have a good day. <laughs>